Martin, I saw your name card, and uh, there's a Chinese letters on it too. So mm -hmm. uh, I assume you speak Chinese too. Uh, just a little enough to get food in a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. So my Deep pleasure, out. my pleasure, and I must say thank you for making me so welcome. It's it's great sitting here between. Mm -hmm. uh, Mickey and V. Thank and you so now much. I know a little more about the good work that you do, that you're spreading uh, useful knowledge across borders and uh, helping to focus people on the positive. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, appreciate your saying that. Martin, so uh, Pata. How do you how do you pronounce it? Is it Pera or Pata or Pata or <laughs> <laughs> actually oh, any way you like? <laughs> any way you like. But I have to say I think we're very blessed with a good acronym that that can be said, to my knowledge, in any language in any accent and still be understood. Mm -hmm. So you know how unpronounceable some. <laughs> Uh, some acronyms are. I mean, our good yeah. friends in the United Nations always yeah. have to have U N W T E or yeah. whatever it is. Uh -huh. and it, yes, exactly. So, <laughs> so we they struggle a little, but, but we're blessed. Um, but you, you, uh, you switch the word. It's not Asia Pacific. It's Pacific Asia. Uh -huh. Just to have yeah, this there acronym. Is, there is that? Is a, no, there's a, there's a very good historic reason for that, which helps me introduce your visitors to to Pada's history and what we do. We started in 1951 mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Mm. So the pioneers were literally looking out across the Pacific. Mm. And as two ex-Marines who'd seen the worst of the Second World War, mm. they were thinking, what can we do to build better links across borders mm. and allow people to develop businesses that are mutually beneficial? Mm. So that was a great vision. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's worth noting those two gentlemen uh, were in the business, so mm -hmm. they realized we 're doing this for good reasons, but mm -hmm. also it helps our our own business. One was the publisher of the Honolulu advertiser, and mm -hmm. the other was a vice president of Pan Am mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that philosophy I would say still continues mm -hmm. that we attract people who want to build their business, mm -hmm. but at the same time contribute to a community mm. uh, of like-minded people who enjoy travel and tourism. Mm -hmm. So um, f at first the organization was established in San Francisco, but yeah. now the headquarters is in Bangkok. That's Why? right. It's a good question. The, um, the operational headquarters have been here for 15 years. We moved mm -hmm. here in 1998, mm -hmm. and by then obviously uh, Thailand in particular mm -hmm. was uh, developing uh, large-scale tourism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, San Francisco had been a great launch pad for Pada but it wasn't the center mm -hmm. of Asia Pacific mm -hmm. uh, travel and tourism mm -hmm. we still keep a registered office there mm -hmm. we still have members in the States and mm -hmm. I was actually there a few weeks ago mm -hmm. um, so Pata's boundaries now are truly full Asia Pacific mm -hmm. which is Istanbul to Santiago, if wow. you can visualize that. Oh. So that's 17 time zones and 105 countries and territories. Mm -hmm. So we have quite a lot to keep our eye on. Mm. Uh, we have about 30 people here in our office in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had a representative office in Beijing for eight years, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, another unique mm. aspect of pattern. No other mm. travel and tourism organization is that mm. fully embedded. Mm. Uh, we have an office in Sydney, mm -hmm. and uh, we have representatives uh, in Dubai, in London, mm -hmm. a lot of activity in New York. So mm -hmm. we're actually truly global mm -hmm. because the mission of Pater is to serve the travel industry from, to, and within Asia Pacific. Mm -hmm. So even if you're in New York and London, outside mm -hmm. of Asia Pacific, you still obviously have a lot of business mm -hmm. interest. What's I think fascinating is, of course, the reversal of, of flows to mm. some extent that mm. now so many of those so-called developed countries mm. in the Western economies are more and more dependent on Asian visitors mm -hmm. spending their hard-earned money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in their economies, mm -hmm. whereas that wasn't the case, obviously, when PADA started. Mm -hmm. So lots of fascinating sort of interplays going on, and that's why... Mm. I'm enjoying this this job. I've, by the way, just been doing it for two years, so I'm mm. I'm still learning. But um, it's uh, it's a pleasure to be here mm. and to spread the word. Mm -hmm. So, Can't. what does Pada do then? What it does is it provides platforms for our members to meet and build business. Mm. And by that I mean events, mm -hmm. conventional events, travel marts. Mm. We had an event 
for example, in Chengdu in mm. September, where we made 10,000 appointments for travel mm. people to meet, mm. somewhat on a speed dating basis, <laughs> to, to, to meet and exchange uh, mm -hmm. ideas and deals. Mm. Um, we also, on a much more intimate basis, run what we call Hub City Forums, mm. where we get public and private representatives of our organization together so that government can hear what private enterprise mm -hmm. wants in the mm -hmm. way of infrastructure mm -hmm. and we we moderate that mm -hmm. and try mm -hmm. and make it productive mm. so we we do events because as i often say even though i'm a fad, fan of smartphones and tablets mm. i keep telling the next generation don't let them rule your life mm. Mm. Life should be le should be led in 3D, mm -hmm. even though we're here on the radio. Mm -hmm. So get out and smell the roses. But my, my point is, face-to-face -face meetings are still essential, so mm -hmm. we do events. Mm -hmm. To back that up, we do in-depth research mm -hmm. to provide insights to members. Mm -hmm. So we aggregate mm -hmm. a huge amount of data to save people time mm -hmm. and put it up on a very smart platform called Pata mm -hmm. Empower mm -hmm. so that our members literally mm -hmm. in a taxi going to a meeting can mm -hmm. check lots of quite complex statistics mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. they're right up to date. And then finally, if you like, in the flow of activities, our three pillars mm -hmm. uh, also includes advocacy, mm -hmm. uh, which is a word not that well known but mm. it's a word I very much prefer to lobbying mm -hmm. because lobbying has a bit of a frankly bad smell about it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's associated with paying lawyers rather too much mm -hmm. to lobby politicians about things they don't actually know uh -huh. about mm -hmm. whereas we would really rather have volunteers who mm -hmm. are immersed in the business mm -hmm. who are passionate about the business they're in whether it's micro or macro and then if there's an issue, mm. we can collectively get the talent and knowledge of our members together and mm. advocate on it, mm. which is something that, that I obviously personally get involved mm -hmm. in regularly. Mm -hmm. So it's a long answer to your question. Mm -hmm. So we do those three pillars, mm. Mm -hmm. but they're surrounded by a, a consciousness of making travel and tourism sustainable. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, therefore, corporate social responsibility mm -hmm. is important. We have a dedicated staff member who, who looks after that. Mm. And uh, the other point surrounding all of this is, is of course, people. Mm. That the industry is expanding so fast, we need to provide opportunities for young people to join travel and tourism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have a continuous education. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we call that human capital development. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite topical. Because mm -hmm. we will have our first Patter Academy mm. HCD here in Bangkok mm -hmm. uh, in two weeks' time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, the 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 revenue model of Pata, uh is it a non-profit organization? Yes, or, it is. Or, or how does it work? Uh, you, do the member have <coughs> members have to pay for yes. being a member, and uh, how does it work? Indeed, I'm, I'm glad you've allowed me to point that uh, important point out. Mm -hmm. Padre is registered as a non-profit. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we, we aim to act entrepreneurially. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't act in, you are the CEO. Like <laughs> <a> that's quite <laughs> yes. uncommon yes. for well, well, <laughs> a non-profit organization. We're, we're, yes, well, that, that's true. The titles are significant too. But no, we generate money by mm -hmm. providing value to our members, and they pay... Uh, annual membership fees mm -hmm. according to their size and scale okay and we also generate uh, additional revenue from selling research mm -hmm. uh, from uh, providing events mm -hmm. but it is still evolving from a traditional membership based association mm -hmm. mm. Uh, into what I would like to think is a 21st century next generation mm. which is the the extra badge I put on Pato when I joined mm -hmm. because by pure coincidence I joined just as the organization was finishing one year of celebration for its 60th anniversary I see mm -hmm. so I said that history is great and we should mm -hmm. always recognize it and respect it and enjoy it but we've got to now virtually 100% look forward mm -hmm. because to be honest there's a learning experience for everyone in this if you have a traditional organization, it's very hard to change mm. mindsets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because people remember how it was 10, 20, 30 years ago. Mm. Some of them would like to reverse gear. Mm. Mm. You know, to, to be honest and half joking, some of our members would love yeah, the resist, internet to go away to change, yeah. <laughs> because, because the internet disintermediated mm -hmm. a lot of businesses. Mm. 
particularly the the middleman in the travel mm. business. Mm. So so there is, if you like, a fondness mm -hmm. for how it used to be mm. from a certain type of member, which mm. is perfectly understandable. Mm. But those who have evolved have evolved and, and found new ways of making mm. profit. And we have also embraced uh, what I would call the very traditional mm -hmm. hospitality providers, mm -hmm. say Dusit Group here, which mm -hmm. is a great example, mm. family business outstandingly run mm. by some uh, people we always enjoy working with, very mm -hmm. public spirited people. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, have, say, TripAdvisor, mm -hmm. who've recently become a member. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some people would say, Martin, what on earth can you do for TripAdvisor? Don't they get 70 million Already hits a month? They're, I mean, they're, they're good on what's the own? big deal? Why mm -hmm. would they want to join an old 63-year-old association? Mm -hmm. Well, we had that discussion, I can assure you. It was quite vigorous. And basically, TripAdvisor, like many modern corporations, said, we're not putting our logo on the bottom of your note paper mm -hmm. just for fun. Mm. You have to provide us value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, fine, let me talk you through it. Mm. And, and that's how they became a member, because we can provide insight and access mm -hmm. that even those huge corporations, mm. like Visa, are mm -hmm. our biggest, mm. uh, one of our biggest sponsors, who pay us 80,000 US dollars a year. And mm. they do that because we're providing value to mm. back up their huge range of activities. Mm -hmm. And of course, Visa are essential to the travel and tourism industry as yeah. a payment instrument. Mm. But they're also very forward thinking about how they can make the experience of paying for travel mm -hmm. more convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they're a sponsor of huge events like the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're great guys to work with and mm -hmm. TripAdvisor in their own very different way of fascinating too. Mm -hmm. So my pleasure is that I get to deal with micro enterprises of three or four people sometimes mm -hmm. who are mm -hmm. specialist mm -hmm. consultants mm -hmm. or travel agents to very big corporations, mm -hmm. including the, the largest hotel groups, mm. like Marriott, mm -hmm. or the biggest airlines, mm. including, of course, Time International, mm. but also Cathay, Singapore Airlines. Mm. So mm -hmm. these are all formidable, uh, independent mm. uh, commercial organizations. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, we represent the big NTOs, National mm. Tourist Offices, mm -hmm which TAT, of course a familiar acronym here in Bangkok, is mm -hmm. a classic example of. Mm. Those national tourist offices typically have 15, 20 offices around the world mm -hmm. to promote their countries. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're substantial in, in their own right. They also have quite substantial budgets for mm. promoting themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, BBC World and CNN, let me choose my words carefully here, mm. would find it hard to exist if there wasn't a travel and tourism business because mm. such a large percentage of their advertising revenue mm -hmm. tourism mm -hmm. is from travel and tourism mm -hmm. because travel and tourism lends itself to that kind of global advertising mm -hmm. and we know that because we, mm. we we have cnn as a major spot sponsor and we work with bbc on some things too mm. so these dynamics, as, as you can hopefully tell from my descriptions, are, are fascinating, intriguing, mm -hmm. and quite motivating. And that's why I really want to encourage more young talent mm -hmm. to come into the business. Mm -hmm. And if I can also be slightly controversial, not go to the dark side mm -hmm. and be persuaded that going into investment banking mm -hmm. or being an accountant all your life will make you a better person. Mm -hmm. I think I maybe quit there before you're... Okay. Size and scale <laughs> for the membership fee, uh, how, does mm -hmm. it, how does it vary? How, how much do we pay? <laughs> it to can go down member? as low as... Um, a thousand US dollars or 500 US dollars for small enterprises in developing mm. countries. Mm -hmm. For a year? For a year, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas a, a large NTO would pay 30 or 40,000 US oh. dollars mm -hmm. and then very big commercial groups, as I said, mm. um, are paying twice that, mm -hmm. uh, providing we are providing. But do they commission data. research as well? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. They said, yeah. You said like they, they, they request value out of it, right? Mm -hmm. so. Of course. So, mm -hmm. so the value is in many cases to do with the research. We mm. call it Pata M Power, mm. Mm -hmm. which uh, hard to explain on the radio because you need to see it mm. visually, but basically it's something that anyone can use M on as a capital M or no, M. small M, mm -hmm. Pata, small M, Power. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, we integrate the wording and it's to empower people. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. a deliberate play on words, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And it's to empower them to know, say, here's all the data from 
say, 54 different NTOs. Mm. But I want to know, how is Malaysia doing versus Thailand and the Philippines in mm. the last six months uh -huh. on mm. international visitor arrivals? Mm -hmm. mm. Now, if you've got all the time in the world, you can go on a website and you can maybe find it and then you can create your own graph and mm -hmm, then two mm -hmm. days later you can show your boss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, if you'd like to do it in 15 seconds, mm. we'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. And we'll give it to you in almost any variation you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if people say, well, no, I want to look back three years. Or, mm. Actually, no, I want to look forward five years. Mm -hmm. So we do forecasting as well. Mm -hmm. Now, that's important because... Everyone in travel and tourism is looking to grow and expand yeah. and invest, mm -hmm. and yeah. they want to invest using smart intelligence mm -hmm. without taking up too much time mm -hmm. gathering it. Mm -hmm. So that's intellectually stimulating. We've mm. got a good group of people working on that. Mm. It's always a work in progress mm -hmm. because you're always trying to keep up with the technology, mm -hmm. and you're also... Uh, you know, always having to keep the, mm -hmm. the information hoppers loaded mm -hmm. because we're providing the distillation of mm -hmm. that. And tailor made at some point mm -hmm. exactly. for particular organizations. Yeah, and yeah. it's not just what I've said about international visitor arrivals. For example, we can pull up instantly how effective uh, websites are for travel promotion, how much money has been spent mm -hmm. in, 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 in different uh, mm -hmm. media forms, mm -hmm. or how many room nights or percentage of room nights are taken in each major city in Asia, mm -hmm. wow. mm. or what the average oh. uh, all the, room uh, rate is. All detailed. the needed information yes. you know, for decision mm -hmm. making and yes. planning a strategy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. It's there mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. uh, common platform for mm -hmm. people to use. Right. Now, Pata, Sunyo, Majak. Pacific Asia Travel Association. We have already talked about why it should be Pacific on Asia. ทะเบียนกันที่ซานฟรานซิสโกในปี1951แล้วมองไปที่แปซิฟิกก่อนนะครับจากนั้นค่อยเป็นเอเชียนะครับก็เลยไม่ใช่เอเชียแปซิฟิก I hope I was summarizing it correctly that uh, your vision was first uh, to uh, Pacific and then then came Asia right Yeah well, that is partly to explain why we have the P before the, the A The P before the A uh, mm. but obviously the A yeah. is the big issue yeah. in mm. world uh, terms now because yeah. Asia, Asia is getting more mm -hmm. and more influential in global affairs mm -hmm. you know, on all fronts, and travel and tourism is certainly included mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. Even Obama, you know, pivot mm -hmm. Asia. Yes, <laughs> yes, pivot Asia. Yes, pivot indeed. Asia. Yeah. So, so you're having a Pada Academy. Yeah. This coming December 11th to 14th, That's uh, right. and the event hasn't been postponed. Before we get to that. Uh, event, mm -hmm. uh, your take on what's happening in in Thailand mm -hmm. because right. Social media is bombarded with all the, uh, you know, like political, uh, politically charged uh, mm -hmm. comments. And are you concerned about what's happening in Thailand? What's your take on it? You know, I should first say that that as CEO of Pater, I'm I'm not here to make any political statements because we're not on anyone's side, mm -hmm. and and that applies to all 105 countries. Of course. So wherever we go, we need to be very. Balanced mm. that whilst we promote travel and tourism and we promote the industry as a whole, mm -hmm. we can't be too balanced, any uh, unbalanced in promoting mm. one country or mm. one company. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to commenting on a political issue, I would rather defer. Mm. Mm -hmm. Having said that, if I put my personal mm -hmm. hat on, I come from Northern Ireland. Mm. Mm. I've watched 30 years of terrorism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is not a problem mm. in Bangkok by that standards. Mm. Now, I'm well aware that in recent years there have been severe mm. cases of confrontation, mm. and I very much hope, again on a personal basis, the current situation does not flare up. Mm. But from what I've personally seen this week, I drove to many meetings during the week, there's, there's, there's a certain sense of goodwill and, and non-confrontation amongst mm -hmm. the crowd I've seen. Mm -hmm. So that's encouraging. Mm. On the other hand, without trying to pretend I'm an expert mm. on the complex issues of Thai politics, mm. there's clearly a need for the right people to sit down and find some compromise. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't take a rocket science to, scientist to figure out these constant pictures, photos, world media mm -hmm. will not encourage investment mm -hmm. or tourism in the medium to long term. Mm. <clears throat> However, I can tell you factually that there's no immediate drop off in tourism. Mm -hmm. And we're studying this literally day by day because we have the tools to do that. We have some members mm. 
one particularly talented member called Forward Keys, mm -hmm. who can show us every day mm. the global booking situation mm. to Thailand or any other country mm -hmm. against the same day the year before. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, we, we did this study just a week to 10 days ago mm -hmm. after Typhoon Haiyan, mm -hmm. which I think deserves to be mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're proud to have been able to, to very quickly raise some money and most importantly, get supplies to the people who needed them through our very own hands. Mm -hmm. Two of our um, leading board members went to Cebu last uh, Sunday mm -hmm. and uh, led a convoy to deliver mm -hmm. supplies from the funds that have been raised. So I wish to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what you might call a man-made crisis mm -hmm. compared to a natural crisis, mm -hmm. it's not for us to say what the right thing to do mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, We'd have to be honest, like like any business or organization in in Bangkok, to say the sooner there is harmony, the better. Mm. And I've had the pleasure of meeting many of the, the, the politicians here and particularly enjoyed meeting mm -hmm. the Bangkok governor recently. He came to our office for a few mm -hmm. hours and he's hosting this problem mm -hmm. mm. so he has a very practical mm -hmm. mm. headache there mm. but he's also been kind enough to invite our Padra Academy students mm -hmm. to meet him and go to Metropolitan Government headquarters when they're here in December mm. and I said to him you have a lot to teach us you're the boss of the world's most visited city mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to MasterCard in a survey recently, mm -hmm. Bangkok was 2012 number one. Or? 2012, which is a subject of a little controversy because mm -hmm. London is not very happy to be told <laughs> that they were number two in the year oh, really? that they had okay. the Olympics. Yeah. But that's we were what, shocked ourselves. <laughs> well, that's what the MasterCard statistics show. Mm -hmm. um, no disrespect to London Olympics, which was a great event for everyone. <laughs> but... but um, as someone who's got tens of thousands of staff running mm -hmm. a highly complex city and getting over 15 million visitors mm -hmm. a year, he definitely has information to share and mm. that, that we want to learn from. Mm. So it's a long answer to your very obvious topical question of how are the current demonstrations affecting our business sector. Mm. But I just wanted to put on the record that you know, wherever there's goodwill, wherever there's the sense of balance, mm -hmm. then progress can be made. And, mm -hmm. you know, sadly, mm -hmm. my own home country went through decades mm -hmm. of very unfortunate conflict. Mm -hmm. But it proves even after all of that, it mm -hmm. can be resolved mm -hmm. through intelligent compromise and talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as of now, do you have any figures on Thailand's tourism industry during the demonstrations? No, we will have them next week because mm -hmm. we're we're tracking them week by week, and as we all know, the demonstrations have only been only been going on about a week. Mm -hmm. um, so it will be very interesting to see those mm -hmm. um, because that's that's just scientific fact. There's mm -hmm. no, no bias bias mm -hmm. in that. We can just mm -hmm. show exactly what the percentage difference mm -hmm. is day mm -hmm. by day, mm -hmm. as by the way we did during the great floods. Mm -hmm. Uh, which was my first week in the job. Mm -hmm. I arrived here on the 31st of October mm -hmm. at the height of what I have to say one more time mm. was ridiculous media hype mm -hmm. by a lot of international agencies mm -hmm. who were seriously scaring off people coming mm -hmm. to Bangkok and mm -hmm. we could see the numbers there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of my first jobs, I literally remember my first hour in the office was to call the head of TAT and the head of Thai International and say, I'm here to help. What do you want me to do? Mm. And both of the gentlemen who, who are great friends to Pada said, talk to the international media. Martin, please mm. give them an honest opinion because mm -hmm. they won't quote us because mm. they consider we're biased. Mm. But you, Pata, mm. are independent. independent mm -hmm. so, yeah. so we're not telling you what to say. You obviously... Mm -hmm will only give your honest mm. opinion. I looked at the situation, we looked at the numbers, we looked at the statistics, and it's on the record. I, I did an interview actually the very next week live on BBC World and said, shame on you, mm -hmm. you are running news stories that look like a trailer for a disaster movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not balanced reporting. Mm -hmm. Why punish the people of Thailand twice? Mm -hmm. They've had a big natural disaster. Mm -hmm. Now you're inhibiting people to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm when it's perfectly safe to come, mm -hmm. and therefore 
your news coverage should mm-hmm. be amended. Mm-hmm. So that I count as an essential part of my job. Mm-hmm. I think it would be wrong for me to try and predict anything about mm-hmm. the public mm-hmm. demonstrations here because clearly no one knows exactly mm-hmm. what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. But I've, I think I've just stated the obvious common sense mm. mm-hmm. issues that we all hope that nothing flares up and mm. that uh, compromise mm. is reached. Mm. Mm. What's going to happen uh, during the uh, the Pada Academy uh, this four days uh, in December, in December 11th to 14th? Who are participating in this mm-hmm. event and yeah. uh, and how will they benefit from it? Great questions, and and it's a learning experience for us too. Mm. It's the first time the first we've delivered. Mm. Yeah, yeah, first okay. time we've delivered it because mm. we identified it. A gap in the market. Mm. That there are many capable universities who offer courses for students mm-hmm. to go through university and then go into the jobs market. Mm. However, once they've been in the job market, mm. my personal feeling and a lot of my colleagues and members feel that sometimes they drill down only into one thing mm-hmm. and they don't have a 360 degree view mm. of how interconnected the travel and tourism industry is mm. because the user of travel and tourism experiences of course gets the full chain effect Mm -hmm. Mm. from booking to airport to flight to arrival Mm. to tour to hotel to Mm. many other things in between so we're trying to develop joined up thinking Mm. in what I would call the rising stars of the industry Mm. Mm -hmm. so the people we have asked the organizations to send have at least five years experience Mm. They are seen to be people who will move up Mm -hmm. in the management chain Mm. and therefore need to have a more international and cross-functional understanding of how the business operates. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is if you have a pure airline guy, they often don't really have a clue how hotels market themselves Mm -hmm. and vice versa. Hotels don't take that much interest in operational issues of airlines. Mm. But there are, in my opinion, having effectively worked across all of them, Lots of things to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Apart from the obvious fact, if you bring people together from 12 different countries, Mm. from as far away as Guam, Mm -hmm. from from around ASEAN, Mm. and also, can I put on record the extraordinary uh, topicality of we will have Mm. two North Korean students Mm -hmm. here. And we will have South Korean interns Mm. in the room with them. Well, now that <laughs> alone shows you the potential for uh-huh. engagement mm-hmm. that they're here to learn. Mm-hmm. We've had to go Exchange. through some uh, yeah. uh, extraordinary extra process with help, I must say, from the Thai embassy mm-hmm. in Beijing mm-hmm. to get them fast tracked with visas. Mm-hmm. But all things being equal, those the two North, North Koreans. Koreans, the North Koreans will be here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course, they're English speakers, they have to be. It's mm-hmm. going to be, mm-hmm. of course, delivered in English. Mm-hmm. On the actual ground, in terms are they already working professionals? Yes, or? yes, they're they're involved in the industry. North mm-hmm. Korea has its own tourism ministry, and, oh. and, and, and we've met them at. And are they, <coughs> mem- are they the member of Pada? Yes, they're a member North of Pada. Korea. They're a fully paid up member. Okay. Oh. I appreciate their their check each year. Okay. So we're here to help them, like like we are everyone else. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we're not biased. Yeah. Um, we have, by the way, very good relationships with South Korea. We did a. Hub City Forum in Seoul mm-hmm. just uh, six weeks ago. So, so <laughs> let me put that on the record wow. as well. But um, the actual cause... It's fun to sit in that session. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> the, but the actual sessions will be uh, delivered by practitioners mm-hmm. in tourism. Mm-hmm. Because with due respect, respect to the professors, they've, mm-hmm. they've had their turn. Mm-hmm. They've given the students this is their knowledge. Yeah. So not, it's practitioners. I mean, give you, give you an example. Uh, the, the head of marketing of Bangkok Airways mm. is coming, mm. Peter Weisner, who's mm. a delightful character who mm. spent most of his career with Swiss Air, mm. and then he came here nearly 10 years ago mm. and has done a great job developing Bangkok Airways, mm-hmm. who, who I think are another mm-hmm. feather in, in um, Thailand's tourism mm. crown, if you mm. want to put it that way, mm. through the really insightful... Uh, and long-term thinking of Dr. Prasert, who mm. I've had the pleasure of knowing for nearly 30 years. Mm-hmm. My, my original job was selling airplanes, by oh, the way. Okay. So I, I, <laughs> I sold the first airplanes to Dr. Prasert for see. Samui. Oh, I see. So in 1986, I saw Samui when there was no airport there, when there was only coconut trees. Wow. Mm. So in other words, that's why I, I am interested in this evolution of... Mm of travel and tourism mm. uh, in Thailand. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I should say in those early days, it was also a pleasure mm. 
mm. to work with Thai International with mm. people like uh, Niels Lumholt and Kun Chachachai, who's mm. who's still active uh, mm. here. Mm -hmm. So a lot of points, but mm -hmm. I hope that how many people you are these. attending? Twenty six only. Yeah, mm. we, we're not trying to make it a, a big gathering. We mm. could take maybe five more, mm -hmm. but we want to make. We said twenty to twenty five mm -hmm. the first time. We'll build it up probably to thirty, mm -hmm. and then we'll subject to demand have it every mm -hmm. three months mm -hmm. I see so that could moving, be 120 moving, people uh, sessions like to other cities as well or well no we plan to make Bangkok the hub mm -hmm. because apart from having the actual in classroom training mm -hmm. half of the time we will go out and see best practices mm -hmm. in the industry I see. so we'll go to the Dusitani Cordon Bleu mm -hmm. school Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, we'll also go to the uh, Bangkok Governor's Office, mm -hmm. and the students will therefore see tourism in action, mm -hmm. and I think that will mm -hmm. resonate with them yeah. well. Wow, mm -hmm. three times a year you plan yeah. to have. Three to four times a year. Yeah. So yeah. this time it will be the first. Yeah. Yeah. So we look forward to uh, hearing from you the outcome of this uh, part Academy. That would really be our pleasure. We'd love to invite you guys down. So, mm -hmm. v, v and Mickey, you might be on a road show with us uh, okay. you, sometimes. You never know. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, looking forward to, to hearing uh, the success of Thank this you. of this part Academy and looking forward to welcoming you back to the show. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It'll it's be, been a pleasure. It will be a pleasure to be back. Thank you for your time. Thanks for your time as well. Martin Craig, CEO of Pata Pacific Asia Travel Association. Thank